Well, if you've seen my videos before on me doing different techniques, you'll know that I always keep a little scrapbook when I'm trying out something new so I can go back to it. And this is my current scrapbook. And if you want to know how I did any of these, then the videos are on my channel. I'll remember to link them in the comments below. But I want to try something that I happened to come across the other day by a channel called Shiny Easy Art. And I think she is a lovely little channel. And I check her out, please. I'll link her channel in the description below as well. And that's how to have some fun making little cats, birds, and things like that with watercolours. Now, she's probably going to be much better than I am doing this, because this is really working on her technique. But let's give it a go. So what I'm going to do first is add a bit of clean water in a circle on my pad like that and then choose a color that i'm going to be wanting to make my bird out of and obviously i have no idea what colors these are and then put that in my water i'm quite making quite big birds here i'm going to do a variety of birds different colors in different places this is just something to do on a nice afternoon maybe in the sun well not in the sun because this will dry too quickly but when you want to just feel like you want to do a little bit of sketching and then you can come back to these and look at them and they really do help in form other things that you do later on i love my little sketches and i keep all my sketchbooks as well and some like that i've got the red and the yellow going in there and that will give me a nice little effect i think okay and we just let them dry for a little while until you can write on them i forgot to put the tail feathers in so now i need to do that as well and i'm using a flat brush for this putting them in there we go <laughs> and now i leave them to dry and now they're dry, all I need to do is take a permanent marker like this. And now we can put the little beaks and the little wings on them, uh, the little feet. So just putting a line down like that, a little beak up here, and we put an eye in. There we go, <laughs> we've got our first little bird. And again, we can do this with this one. I think his little beak needs to be kind of here. There we go. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a few more in to add a little bit of fun to this page. And then I'll show you what it looks like once they've all dried. So they're all finished now. So that's a really simple technique to do for, with some birds. But what you can do now, if you want, is take that little simple set technique and then go a little bit further with it. And then you could put this on cards or, or anything like that. I'm going to divide my page in two. So now I've got my page divided in two and I can have a little bit of fun with these. First of all, I'm going to try and put a little branch in. Just using, well, I think this is green, but I don't know. Oh, if it's not, it's not. I'll probably use this on, if I like the way it comes out, I'll probably use this on a card for somebody. So I can let that dry and then I can do my next one. But what I'm going to do is do a similar sort of branch on this top bit. So these are dry now and we can start putting our little birds on. What I'm going to try and do is a couple sit in here. Probably do them different colours. I think that'll be fun to have them different colours. I'm just popping a little bit of paint in. Letting that do its thing. A bit more darker red in that, I think. I think we'd fit another one there. A blue one, definitely. And then I think a couple of tiny ones up here. Okay, we'll let them dry and then we'll do the same down here as well. So they're dry. I did do a little drop there and I don't want it to be just a normal little drop. So what I'm going to do is put some tail feathers on it like that and a little what looks like a wing there <laughs> and then once that's dry I'm going to turn it into a little flying bird. So I'm going to do quite contrasting colours, well not contrasting but deeper colours for their wings and for their tail feathers. I want a drier brush for this. And I'm also not going to wet the paper first because I want this to be quite a dry colour. So I can put some little wings on here like that and then some tail feathers coming off there. So definitely check out Shiny Easy Art. Honestly, I love her stuff. Like I say, I will list it in the description below. She has no idea I've given her a shout out and she has no idea that I've even seen her channel. But I've, you know, I saw this so I wanted to make sure that I, uh, I gave her the credit for it because it was really her idea. Well, it was where I saw it from. And it's great to be able to try something new. So I'm going to go along. I'm going to carry on doing the little wings and the tail feathers like that on all of these. And now we've got those done. All we need to decide is which way they're looking. So I think this one 
here is looking this way. <laughs> looking up there. I'll give him some eyelashes as well. This one's looking straight at me. I'm almost sure about that. So I'm going to give it a little triangle beak here. And then a couple of eyes. He's probably thinking, what on earth is that bird looking at? And then we need to attach them to the actual branches. So I'm just putting the two little claws on there. And there we've got a little bird. So I'm going to fill the rest of these in and I'll show you what it looks like finished. And there we go. And if we want to put a little bit of background, we probably should have done that first. But we can do that quite easily with a little bit of water, a little bit of blow. And just going around, filling that in. I'll put some grass at the bottom of this one. And there we go. We got a little bit of background on that one as well. I think they're really cute. Great fun. I could sit here all day and do this sort of thing. But if you're just feeling a little bit that you've got no motivation or you just want to do a little bit of quick art and you just want to have a little bit of fun, then this is the one of the ideal things to do. I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, check out my other watercolours and my other paintings. I'll link one at the end of this one. Boot that like button, hit that subscribe button, but most of all, enjoy your crafting. Take care. Bye.